Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here, and uh, this is a playthrough of Let's Play Towns point four zero. Uh, we got an early release, but probably by the time you guys have seen this, it's probably released to the internet, and you guys are playing it yourselves. So Christonian here, playing Towns uh, 4.0, which adds a, let's say, 2.5D is the major change to it where we have we can uh, see 3d of everything so I'm just starting to create create a game here for the first time uh, so what I was saying here is you see how people are actually uh, I'll pause it for a sec uh, see how it, uh, our art uh, on the art side of teams they must have been working hard because they had to show 3d of every single character. As you can see, some of it isn't uh, in place yet. So like uh, the chicken and the reindeer are still 2D, I'm pretty sure. They won't turn around and stuff like that. But uh, you can see as the characters and cows and uh, pigs are complete and more to come in uh, soon, I'm hoping, time. We're just looking around at the map. Doesn't look like we have any iron again. Oh, there's brownies. That's the first uh, major thing. And like I said, not everything in the game has been switched over to 3D. Ooh, and I like this. Look at they made the like each square like slightly off. So it makes it more roundish and it's not so squarey, you know? It just gives it a texture. Okay. Be kind of cool to dig down there and see if there is multiple levels. So maybe I'll build my town over here and then dig there and see if it crashes the game or not. <laughs> okay. So let's chop some stuff. And the idea of this is it's going to be an overview and a... Let's play. I'm gonna stay away from that Yeti. Seems to kill my uh, characters all the time. So the idea, like I said, would be an uh, overview Let's Play, and this will change into a Let's Play like my other series on point three nine, uh, and we'll try to get that or the same one as that up to uh, like. Uh, seven or eight parts to it just like uh, that one because now we'll have time between the patches and this save uh, should be compatible with uh, future updates so even if we go to like point four zero one we should be able to carry the patch over or our save over and keep going so that's the basis idea so I'm gonna start showing you guys some of the new stuff uh, if you guys saw Alex's video, you'll know that uh, now you can place uh, locations without walls. And they say if you put a roof over it, it accelerates the process. If it's just left out in the open, uh, it's not as the fast fastest process. So I'm going to pause so we can get a, a decent amount of stuff going here. And then we'll go back to, like I said, talking and doing some gameplay. Oh, that's gonna cancel out. That's fine. Uh, there's fires. We need flint for fires because I watched Alex's video so I kinda have an idea. So we're gonna dig there. We'll dig there. And we'll dig way up here. This is where I think I'll go down for all uh, purposes. So again, they added, added a whole bunch of content, items, uh, enemies, transition tiles, I think this is what they're talking about. Oh yeah, and down here, when you're on the river, you can see that it actually goes down now. What the heck? You hear that digging sound? Huh. I wonder if it takes them a long time to dig now. If that's what the sound was going from. So I'm just hoping to get some uh, flint there and then we can have a fire. Uh, now there's height, as you can see, 
full 3D and the transition of actual people going around. I'm gonna pause again. Uh, we're gonna create some walls here. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Now we don't even have to work with wall or log walls, I should say. Uh, let's try making a big room, and uh, we'll we'll uh, section it off in sections, and try making it all in like one room, you know. So we'll go like that, and we'll separate it by hospital so we know which is which. And we'll go to a bakery. And chop that tree. Um, I have to cancel just to make some doors in here. And that should keep them busy for a while. Might eat up all my wood stock again, but I have to live with that. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, utilities here. Oh, look at that. Did you see the bone crafting thing? It's right there. Cool. Wood and bone. So there's some of the new things. There's a campfire, or a cooking fire. Supposedly it expires just like a log wall. It'll uh, deteriorate over time. But it's uh, very good for like our situation where we don't have a source of iron to get our kitchen up and going. So I wonder if that, like I said, if that's on a different... It doesn't look like it though. Yeah, because see this one's on the same level. There's some bones out there. Gotta watch out for that yeti though. Um, and those sand guys. I can kill one of your guys pretty easily. Yeah, so we're just gonna let them build and concentrate on that while we talk about what is actually getting done. So I said the bakery is there. We'll put the food here. That's fine. So, for content wise, uh, they added a grid feature at the start of the video, you would have probably saw it for about a second, there's a grid, so you can actually lay out your stuff a lot better now. Uh, there's the pause, and then settings, which is just escape, and supposedly it has had a uh, performance update. So we're talking, uh, it'll just run better on your machines and save faster and stuff like that. Uh, doors can be opened and locked now. So uh, you can lock them out to certain enemies and stuff like that, I think. I think that's what it means. Uh, what else do we have here? We have speed up. So when you have a roof, like I said, your production actually supposedly speeds up. So that's good. So it might even uh, pay off to put doors on all these places. So I'll put the doors to just right away. And we'll make sure that we're still chopping trees. Hopefully we'll kill that. Um, Oh, that's kind of cool that you see it going up the hill, or trying to. Uh, also, I don't know if this is going to be different. See, so hopefully they can kill it without killing one of my characters. Yep, did it. Black snake, crab, dead. Uh, what I was saying is... Uh, this is an early build. Um, released uh, before so it might be slightly different from what you guys get right from the developers so I don't even know so if you guys see some errors that actually happen then that's probably what's 
and it doesn't happen in your game, that's probably what the scenario is. I just want to make sure there's always enough food for everybody. It's coming together. Uh, we'll look at the list again to see what else. So they uh, changed some of the changes. They just made the APCs, or not the APCs, but the civilians work a lot better by uh, not allowing them to get stuck in walls. Sometimes if you build a wall and it's to place the very last wall, they'll get stuck within the walls. And that's happened on my uh, older games. And, uh, let's dig. Yeah, we did dig in here. So. I'm gonna mine this out just to get a good source of stone going. Because that's a good patch up there. Right, so our first place is done. We're gonna go utilities, we're gonna finish off the mason place. Because after this I'll probably make everything with uh, masons. So. Also look at bakery, I guess, too. Because that doesn't cost us anything. We'll put it there. And we'll start tilling the land. So three by three, 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 three. Uh, other changes, they uh, changed up the military tooltips. Oh yeah, so if we go uh, military, uh, you can actually look at stats now. So 2 to 8 to defense, 1 defense, 4 to 8 uh, damage. So that means there's a, it's based on a dice roll system, so it can be anywhere in between there. The likelihood of 2 to 8, so you could get a 6, and then for damage you could get a 4 all the way up to an 8. It's a very good system, and I like it to be randomized. On my older videos, you probably saw that uh, I thought they took it away for a little bit, but it seems that they brought it back. Uh, another thing I think was... Huh. That's different, eh? So I guess they've uh, switched this up. So we got butchering. Gathering, cooking, cook poultry. So that's probably a uh, aired uh, thing. These look fine. I remember uh, Alex going through and was having some issues. So. Oh yeah, gotta get four or five of those. That's probably what's holding up my mason thing. So let's look at this. Now we have a nice little long production hall. Uh, what do I want to make there? I can make... Um, um, kitchen or the forge? We'll do the forge and make the kitchen right off the dining room. So that's where I'm going to have forge. Just have to remember that. I'll pause the game for a second. I'm gonna go buildings. Uh, wheat. One, two, six. I guess a windmill here. Not exactly the best layout. I should have laid that out better. Um. Gonna probably need lots of wood going again, so maybe we'll cut to the south this time. So this is Christonian with another Let's Play Towns, and uh, like I said, this will be a basic just overview, and then from there I'm gonna go to a uh, like a Let's Play. This will be a Let's Play plus overview. And we'll uh, make go far on this one. Okay. Thanks for everybody coming by. And this is Christonian signing off of YouTube. Bye.